Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So as you guys all know, I work here at Costco. And so the past week, I have been learning how to drive the sled, which is basically like an automated, automated, an automated pallet, 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 an automated pallet jack. I'm learning how to drive the sled first, and then after that, I'm learning how to drive the forklift. So I figured why not do um, a work vlog and show you guys the fun of learning. <laughs> it's been about two days already. No, wait, what, what is today? Okay, no, I was off on Monday. Then I was training Tuesday, Wednesday, and then today is Thursday. So I kind of already got the feel of it, but it's just kind of just like getting it down now. So I'm learning how to drive this first. This is called a sled. And yeah, that's what I've been learning for the past two days. And then yesterday, more towards the end of the shift, I was learning how to drive the forklift. You know, yeah, it's fun, it's great. And if you're wondering when I'm filming this, I'm actually on break right now. So I'm going and getting all these clips in before I actually start again, so yeah. These are the matching containers and then we have one, two, three, and four and it's backwards. Stop kid! We also was told that tonight we're driving for the first time in the warehouse so that's gonna be fun. You guys are probably wondering, okay, why is he getting off the sled? What is he looking for? This and that. So I'm going to let you guys know right now. So the first thing I'm looking for when I got off the sled and I'm looking at the side is I'm looking to see if the pallets are flushed together. You guys noticed, this one wasn't so noticeable, but when I went into the two pallets, I did a little push at the end to make sure the pallets were flushed together because when I lift up, if they're not flushed together, it can possibly break pallets. And we do not want that because we pay for the pallets. <laughs> thing I'm looking for is I am looking to see where I'm going to run it out on the floor so basically what I was taught that majority rules majority is household appliances that's going to hard lines majority is centers like candies and stuff it's going in the middle and it's the same with foods this majority is canned good that's going to foods yes I actually do a diagram to explain this better to you guys here is my little diagram right over here a sundry is just like toilet paper and stuff like that then we have the freezer coolers then we have foods like the canned goods vinegar ketchup seaweed, all that fun stuff, you know what I mean? Then we have centers, which is candies, clothing, furniture, seasonal things. Hard lines is basically all your um, household appliances. And we got produce in the corner, and then we have pharmacy up over here. But right now we are focusing on the main three, which is hard lines, centers, and foods. Receiving is right over here. So say currently I am looking at the load, which is right over here, exactly what I'm doing right now. Basically, I can already see from this, the shot, that majority of everything, the pallets are hard lines, because it's like, um, household appliances. I'm gonna run it out from receiving. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go this way. And then I am going to drop it along centers. Majority of things that I'm checking over here and receiving on my sled is foods. I'm gonna drop it along foods. If it's mostly centers, I'll probably drop it like in the middle by clothing over here. Every single one of my pallets were, were bins. Instead of dropping it in centers, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop it in the same aisle as all the bins because it would make more sense, you know what I mean? If all my pallets were ramen, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go drop it in front of the ramen because all of the pallets are ramen. It's not gonna be like over here where it's gonna be um, different pallets with different things on it. It makes sense for me to just drop it in front of where everything else is because they're gonna put it over there anyways. Backed up over here, okay? And all of these things are already backed up. We would put things in the front end, which is where all the registers are. And then from there, we're done running things out, and then that's when Morning Merch comes into play, and Morning Merch does whatever they need to do to stock the shelves and things like that. You guys, yes, yeah, so that was like my day. That was my day. That was my day at work. I'm working, I kind of work, and I don't really, um, Obviously, you don't go my phone or like play my camera. Obviously, me and Jed ran out all of this right over here because Jericho trusted us too, and we did it. I think we did a good job. 
Anyways guys, yeah, that was my video for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I know there wasn't a lot of clips of me driving or learning or just like much clips of me at work in general just because of the fact that when I'm at work, my main priority is work and I know for a fact that if I was focusing on clips and you guys and this camera in general that I would not be learning what I need to learn and doing what I need to do because when I'm recording there's people who are working harder than me and picking up my slack when that shouldn't be happening. So that's why I don't have a lot of clips because I didn't want to focus on recording this video this entire time while I was at work where I'm supposed to be working, you know what I mean? Yeah, but if you guys have any questions or this and that, just let me know that in the comments, I'll answer them. And hopefully when a week isn't as busy as it normally is, I can make another video of me and everything that I learned while driving the sled, also known as the electric pallet jack. So, um, yeah, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you guys haven't already, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!